Ha! Both abilities. First, think for yourself. Move, then use the cards. You can, you can attack him, but he'll guard everything. Yep. You now know how to use your strength, but it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Oh, they have target lock now? That used to be automatic in the Game Boy Advance version. All right. Good. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until I sh until you run out and I will show you. Well, can I cheat and do it now? Nah, they're not going to let me. Okay. I don't know if the music was supposed to stop. At least it's only the audio that's messing up. It could be worse. It could be much worse. You have no more cards and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards return to you, and they will. Alright, reloading cards. If you press up, you'll quickly select the reload card. And then hold X to reload all cards. Each time you reload, though, it takes longer to wish them back. The strength of your heart brought back the lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You, only need, you need only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. The cards are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle and choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. Yep, cycle left and right. The four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use cards from a different category, press select, right? Oh, they give you one to start? They did not give you one to start before. They give you a freebie in this game. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending. But it's up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget that. Alright, let's see how exactly how hard this game is now that it has a difficulty setting. Here they are. Are you two alright? Where have you been? You tell us, when you opened the door, we saw a strange light, and the rest is just... blank. It's Gemini. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald, where do we get the new clothes? What? Me too, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the... Yeah, they changed that line. Before it was the cards, I presume. Now it could be the cards again. That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine, I can take care of myself. Hmm, the hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of Castle Oblivion waits. Walk the avenues of latent memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. For the most part, the dialogue is exactly the same. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jim. Oh, it bugged out again. Ugh. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. The Key of Beginnings. It's gonna suck. It's gonna constantly be dropping audio and taking forever to load. But in the meanwhile, Traverse Town, the first world. I forget how many worlds there are in this game. I know there's two stories, each one has about the same amount of worlds. Or right, you can perform the following actions in the field. Move, look around, face forward, swing keyblade, jump, dodge, roll. You can strike a barrel. Striking objects in the field with your keyblade yields various results. Just try striking the barrel. Yep. Oh, come on! I already bugged out. I got Blizzard. It's a magic card. Marked objects can be lifted and thrown. Triangle lifts. Why would I ever want to throw this? What's the what's the practical usage? Touching a heartless in the field starts a battle, but you can gain 
You can strike the Heartless first to gain the upper hand. Namely by throwing. What about just striking with the Keyblade? There you go. Striking with the Keyblade does the exact same thing as before. And I'm going I'm to have to move my PlayStation so I can slap it into shape when it does this. Uh, not every fucking battle has to be like this. It can't. That's killing me. Here we go. Experience comes back to me. Oh yeah, you can move the camera now. It's completely different. Shit, he card break me. Your card broke. Oh yeah, that's right. My deck is shitty. Oh! Basically, they'll teach. They'll they'll explain card breaking. It's pretty simple though. Tranquil darkness. They're also gonna explain this. Tranquil Darkness is a, a room card, right? Oh, fuck. I always get scared. It's going to freeze and it's not going to recover. Oh, God. Come on. You can fix yourself. You can do it. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's fucked up. Oh, I got to free my PlayStation 2 then. I actually turn on my Xbox. Oh no, it fixed itself. Alright, to open doors in the field, press triangle in front of the door. Room synthesis. Proceed to the next room. You need a map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use. Well, obviously, I'm selecting Tranquil Darkness, a room where only few Heartless appear. Alright, can I confirm? X is confirm. Oh, they're going to make me put a save room. Number you see in the middle of the screen is the criterion for opening the door. The criterion displayed now means the door will open with a, uh, open with a value of 1 or greater. You need to pick a card that meets this criterion. Cards have marked values from 0 to 9. 0 cards are special cards which meet all criteria. The card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used as special doors. Alright, so they're going to make me open a save room. They are going to force me. I was only going to open a, a normal, a normal room. And ideally, you want to grind as much as possible, too, so it's good that I get as much combat. I know that a lot, the Game Boy Advance game, you need to do a lot of grinding. Alright, fuck this. Uh, I gotta do it. Hold on. I, I don't want to break my Xbox doing this. That's the first mistake I'd make. Oh, and that's the second, too. Okay, make my Xbox stand up. Oh shit. Oh god. That was close. Work! Fucking load already. Oh my god. Won't work! Yeah, I don't think this playthrough is happening. It will not load. <laughs> it will not load! Come on, I'm better off just doing the Game Boy version, man. This sucks. Freaking the PlayStation 2 I have. Cause all, I'm bending over backwards for this playthrough and the PlayStation isn't loading. That, that, that's lame, man. And they never re-released this game either, which pisses me off. They haven't re-released it for new consoles. It sucks, man. It really does. Love this game. I want to play this game, but the hardware will not let me. The hardware is the weakest link right now. The 
Yeah, this shit can't happen, man. This is like a five-minute loading screen. What should be like a 10-second loading screen has turned into almost like four to five minutes. That can't happen. And I, this this game, it's a lot of grinding. It's a lot of repetitiveness. And, you know, to get caught up here, man, that's that's disappointing. I haven't even gotten to the first world. I'm not even done with the tutorials yet. Beat the shit out of my PlayStation 2, hoping it reads. Oh, I, this is what I had to do for Final Fantasy X when I was playing it in my leisure. I had to rock my console back and forth like I was freaking cradling a baby trying to make this thing work. I think it's fucked up. Yeah, I think the game, like the like the disc or whatever happened is just like not going to work. Well, really the only reason I'm keeping this PlayStation 2 around is just to say I own a PlayStation 2 that does not work. And also to make sure my Xbox doesn't overheat by keeping it above the desk. This sucks. And no one I know is, you know, has a PlayStation 2. I'm not willing to pay for another PlayStation. Well, unfortunately, I'm only going to, you know, sit at this for another, like, two or three minutes. And then that's just too bad. It sucks. But I have other games to play. And I cannot be sitting here. 13 worlds of loading. It won't even load the second room of the game. The third room. Like, the last thing I want to do is damage the disc inside of it, which is what I'm scared about. Now, I'm more scared for the disc than the console, because I know the console is messed up, and the console doesn't work. Fuck this. I'm not slapping this. It's over. That's it. It's fucked. PS3 doesn't have backwards compatibility. This is fucked. It's not worth it. Oh, I don't even know if I want to put this video up, man. It, it's it's depressing. I was trying to, you know, go into this with a happy attitude. Pray that it would work. Fingers crossed. And unfortunately, I, I've been let down. So, I have other games to play, man. I want to sit here all day trying to wait for this to load one room. Yeah, it's not happening, dude. At this point, it's not happening. Oh, well. Well, it was a nice teaser. It was a nice tease. But, you know, PlayStation 2s are expensive now. They're not making them anymore. And even when they were, they're expensive, man. And for me to downgrade my recording stuff like this, it, it sucks. Because this game deserves better. This game was really good. I really enjoyed this game. It was one. It's one of my favorite games. And I want to play the goddamn remake, and I can't. Uh, so, I remember someone asked me a long time ago why I don't make PlayStation 2 playthroughs anymore. This is why. This right here is why I do not. It, my PlayStation 2 is not good. It's a piece of garbage. And the PlayStation 3 is also pretty garbage. So... It sucks. It really does. And I think... I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if the PS3 is region locked. But I'd love to get my hands on the Japanese copy of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5. Because I know it's going to have English subtitles with Japanese voiceovers or something weird like that. I'd love to get my hands on that and play that. Because I, I, I like Kingdom Hearts and I love Chain of Memories. And I, you know, I can't play this. It's ass. There's only one other family member I know that has a PlayStation 2, and I'm probably going to have to pay him off for that, obviously. I feel bad taking it for free if I could even take it for free, you know? So, like, well, obviously, I, I would pay that off. I would not take it for free because that's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. So, it sucks. Unfortunately, this is what happens when freaking game, game developers feel like they deserve to leave the last console generation in their dust and not honor it. Like, that's, that's a whole seven years of memories right now that Sony just pissed away. Because they don't have reverse compatibility. I'm going to rock it a little more and then that's it. I'm done. If it doesn't work in like a minute, I'm done. 30 minutes, I'm done. I've spent like five of them sitting here trying to make this thing work. I'll reset all my stuff and I'll go back and play some 7th generation console games. It sucks. Look, it's still low. It's not like it's frozen either. It's like it's trying to load but it cannot. Here, I'll put it flat again. Load, come on, man. Load. That's it. It's not happening. So, I don't know. I want to do a playthrough on this game, especially the remake, because I've never played the remake before, you know? I, I, I want to do a playthrough on it. It's not a digital download on PSN, and I can't... If I put this disc into my PS3, it's going to say, what the fuck is this garbage, and pull it out, even though it's the last console generation. So, I'm done. That's it. There's 30 minutes of this, trying to make this work, so... 
unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's just the way it is. It's 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 a sad, it's a crying shame that you know this game comes out towards the end of the PS3, uh, PS2's you know lifetime when the PS3 is taking the reins, and you know I didn't get to play this game. It sucks. It's not gonna work. It's done. Not the console. The game just won't load anymore, and the game has never been used before. It sat in its case since the day I bought it off of Amazon new. So that's it. It's done. Sucks, but so much for the secret playthrough. So much for you know doing this attempted playthrough. I'd love to come back to this game sometime in the future, and you know if they release a, a modern day version of it. But right now, this isn't gonna work. It's dead. It's just not happening. So. Fortunately, there's other, well, unfortunately, there's other games I need to play, and I can't waste time here. Especially trying to make this load, because this has happened to me before, and the PlayStation has not worked. So, it's a shame. It really is. And, unfortunately, that's just how it's going to be. Sorry, but... Well, really, I'm more apologizing to myself than I am to anyone else, because this is this, it's disappointing for me. I had my hopes up high that I was going to love it playing this game, and I was. From what I saw, this game was great. I, I love it so far, and it only gets better is the best part. That's the best is yet to come, but I won't see it, unfortunately.